keeping your head from turning. Yeah. It's giving your brain a different sensory input. Mm -hmm. And it helps your brain figure out, oh, this is straight, not this. Very strange. Estonia is a very unusual condition. And, uh, a modern fairy tale. Aunt Ganna has cervical dystonia. Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived a person who was older and yet still dreaming of life and flowers and flying birds and clean rivers and fresh vegetables and sunny days and moonlit nights. One day, this person, who we call Aunt Ganna, woke up in her sunny bedroom and she had a very sore neck. In fact, she could not control her neck because it moved her whole face and head to the left. So she went, so when she wanted to look straight ahead, her head looked over her shoulder to the other side. And Anna said to the side, Oh son, you shine on me all the time. I promise I am not turning my head away from your beauty. I am not turning from your warmth or your light. Do you believe me? The son responded, I know Aunt Ganna. You always like me and I don't feel abandoned because you don't face me. I still like you. And Ganna was so happy and smiled and laughed and said, Ha, 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 ho, 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 he, he, he. The next day she woke up and her head still turned and she went outside of that night and looked up at the beautiful full moon in the sky filled with stars and said, Oh moon and stars, please, please know I still like you, like you, and I am still your friend and look, and I look to the side when I see you. Because I just do that. Not on purpose. Just it just happens. It doesn't mean I don't like you. Oh, you are so bright and pretty and the light in my life and your stars twinkle and shine like a beautiful shining light. Light show. Please know I like you. The moon responded, Aunt Nana, we know you are our friend. And we always shine on everyone, so don't worry. Then Aunt Ganna sat down to eat, and she picked up her spoon filled with yogurt and granola, a delicious breakfast. When she brought her spoon to her mouth, her head turned without her permission, and the spoon brought the breakfast, and the spoon of breakfast food landed on her right cheek. What a mess! It was, but Aunt Gunna laughed, ha, 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 ho, 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 he, 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 and said, wow, whoa, this is an interesting such situation. All kinds of things are happening to me, and I'm learning how to find the whole thing entertaining and fun. And then she laughed again, ha, 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 ho, 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 he, he, he. A small garden creature then said to her, Aunt Ganna, we know you're happy for our food and happy that we feed you. And we are not disturbed when you place your food on your cheek instead of inside your mouth. So don't worry. That night, Aunt Ganna went to sleep at 7 o'clock as she usually did. So that she could dream as long as possible. And when she was asleep, a dream message came to her. First, she saw a beautiful, tiny, little flying angel. And this angel wore wonderful flowering clothes, and the, the angel was about two inches tall. The angel was spreading angel dust all over Aunt Ganna, and whispered in her ear, Aunt Ganna, you have passed the test. I am your smile teacher, your, your good mood guardian. And I see that you are smiling with the sun and the moon, with the garden beings, that you are accepting everything with a laugh and having a good time. I am proud of this now, and I want you to give you your reward. Here's a jar of angel dust. That is for you to remind yourself 
to smile and stay inside your heart. Does that make you happy? Aunt Anna was very happy and told the smile angel that she appreciated the gift from that time and forever. Aunt Anna smiled the smile of gratitude and lived happily ever after. The beginning and not the end.